Today I have another very important topic. Twelfth house is a very dubious house. There is a lot of misunderstanding related to this house, and uh, we consider it as a negative house. It's not a completely correct. This is not a negative house. If you see, if you remember your current planet video, I did one two weeks ago. Second house and twelfth house is taken as a neutral house. In that eleventh house is also taken as a negative house. Then people generally come with questions why eleventh house is a negative house. It gives gains this that x y z. But what we are not doing is we are not trying to think over it. Right, coming back to the twelfth house, technically twelfth house is taken as a negative house, bad house. But in Parashar scheme of Raj Yoga, it is taken as a neutral house. So point one, for the purpose of Raj Yoga, it is taken as a neutral house. So what does it mean? Any planet which creates Raj Yoga, which planet creates Raj Yoga? Ninth Lord, tenth Lord, fifth Lord, fourth Lord. any planet who creates rajyog if they are in 12th house they will not destroy the rajyog that is number 1 right so you should not be afraid because see every horoscope will have rajyog there is no horoscope without a rajyog to be honest with you now every rajyog is not applicable in all horoscopes the parashar rajyog of course is not applicable in all horoscopes but there are many horoscopes who have rajyog and sometimes you see that people are not leading that beautiful life that is promised by raj yoga why this happens because bad yogas will also be there you have to oh, uh, compare both of them right raj yogas are more or bad yogas are more which one is more powerful either raj yoga is more powerful or other combination is more powerful this you have to compare secondarily exalted planet planet in own rashi planet in mula trikon planet which is vargottam these planets also produce rajyog when these planets are situated in the 12th house they do not destroy any type of rajyog the rajyog remains as it is so whereas in other houses except for the second and 12th the rajyog will be either enhanced or decreased in the second house and 12th house the rajyog is neither enhanced nor decreased it remains as it is that's the basic point that we should understand with respect to 12th house that 12th house is very harmless for a planet it does not harm the planet as such planet remains in the same condition other houses will either harm the planet or not but still there are some more aspects related to it i will just come to that but that's the first basic point so 12th house is not harming any planet right now a very very prominent classic tells us that the planet if there is any planet situated in 12th house then the result of that house for which the planet is significator of the result of that house will be very prominent the result of that house will be very good so what does it mean it means that if there is sun in 12th house then sun is the significator of ascendant the result of ascendant will be very good ascendant indicates longevity health name fame status authority these things will be there in plenty in the horoscope of the native you can see anyone's horoscope sun in the 12th house the person generally lives long is famous and all these traits that i told for ascendant is available there is available in plenty name fame status authority is there good health is there the person lives long also if there is moon in the 12th house then moon is the significator of fourth house in this particular scenario the result related to fourth house is very good that means person lives a life of comfort person lives a life of enjoyment he have multiple vehicle he have multiple properties he have a good loving life partner also right he is very sexually inclined as well he is having a strong libido as well right so all the significations of fourth house land happiness property these things are available in plenty 
Now going to Mars, Mars is the significator of third house and sixth house. So if there is Mars situated in the 12th house, one will have Shibling for sure. Because third house significator ship is Shibling also. Other than that, the person will be very courageous. Third house indicates courage, right? I am not repeating the line over and over again. Right, that third house indicates this, third house indicates that, right? So the person is very courageous. Because third house have courage, right? That I will not Risk taking abilities also. Mars in the 12th house, person have great risk taking abilities. Third house indicates hard work also. So Mars in the 12th house, person is very hard working. Then Mars is the significator of 6th house also. Now what is told, the result is available in plenty. Not necessarily good, but in plenty. So being the significator of the 6th house, Mars in the 12th house makes the person diseased also. Always person have some type or other type of disease, sometimes cough, sometimes cold, sometimes bad, uh, sorry, backache, sometimes headache is always there. Along with that competition, litigation, fight, enmity is also there in plenty with Mars in the 12th house because these are signified from the 6th house. Coming to Mercury, Mercury is the significator of the 10th house and when there is Mercury in the 12th house, one have very good position in their professional life. One have a lot of name, fame and status. The person is very authoritative, well respected in the society. Well known. And belongs from a good lineage, belongs from a good family. That means family of people who are doing good dharma, family of people who are very prominent in the society. These also comes from the 10th house. For this particular reason, there is a very beautiful result for Mercury in the 12th house. It is said that if there is no, if there is not Mercury in 12th house, then how will people, other learned men will respect this person? Meaning to say that if there is Mercury in 12th house, then learned men respect this person, learned men come to have advice of this person, he is so much learned. So he is even more learned than normally learned people is what is told for Mercury in the 12th house and why it is told, now you know. Because it is significant of the 10th house. With respect to Jupiter, it seems like Jupiter is best in the 12th house because Jupiter is significator of many houses. Second house, fifth house, ninth house, eleventh house. All these houses are signified by Jupiter. So Jupiter in the 12th house gives good amount of money, good family, beautiful eyes, gives one poetic abilities also. Right, all this comes from the second house. Then Jupiter in the 12th house gives good children also, makes the person intelligent as well, learned as well, his planning is good. Whatever he thinks that it will work this way, it works that way only. Right? These significations come from the 5th house. The person is very lucky, the person definitely have a guru, person greatly succeeds in mantra chanting. Uh, right? The person have governmental favors. The person rises day by day in life. These significations come from the ninth house. Person have good daily income. Person have multiple awards, owners and accolades. All his wishes and desires come to come true. These significations come from the eleventh house, and all these things are there if there is Jupiter in twelfth house. So technically, Jupiter in twelfth house seems to be the best planet. Now, if there is Venus in twelfth house, then Venus is the significator of seventh house. The marital life is good. The person have happiness from life partner, so conjugal happiness, mental support from life partner, good advice from life partner, financial support from life partner, anything that one can one can imagine, one can expect from life partner that is there. The real enjoyment in marriage only comes when there is Venus in 12th house. Now, sometime when this Venus is afflicted, then because the point is the result is available in plenty. When this Venus is afflicted in the 12th house, plenty may also mean more than one marriage. Not afflicted in the 12th house, then the person have one life partner only and all type of happiness that one can expect from life partner, this person will have for sure. Now Saturn, if there is Saturn in the 12th house, then Saturn is the Karaga of the 12th house itself and Saturn is the Karaga of the 8th house. 
So Saturn in the 12th house, because it is Karak of the 8th house, it gives good longevity. There is not much ups and downs in life. The life is almost very stable. There is no unexpected events in life as such. The person also get also gains good amount of money from insurance and all these things, right? Getting money after someone have died, etc. is very strongly present there. Not only this, 8th house also indicate mental troubles and issues. And because it is available in plenty, Saturn in the 12th house does indicate mental tension, mental tension, mental issues, depression, dilemma, all of these things also. Being the significator of the 12th house, being lonely, not socializing well, spending a lot of money, keep on moving from place to place without any purpose and all these things is also given if there is. Saturn in the 12th house because these are the significations of 12th house itself. Saturn is the significator of 12th house also. Regarding Rahu Ketu, see, with me, if you are trying to learn astrology, you have to follow all the videos, all the articles and everything. And then thing once told, once cleared is not repeated over and over again, right? This is not how a good teacher uh, works. This is not how a good student should be. So regarding Rahu Ketu, Funda is very clear. That Rahu Ketu work according to the planet conjoined with Rahu Ketu. If there is no conjunction, then as for the planet aspecting Rahu Ketu, if there is no aspect, then as for the Rashi Lord of Rahu Ketu. All right. If there is more than one planet who is conjoining with Rahu Ketu or more than one planet who is aspecting Rahu Ketu, then take the strongest planet. This principle is one told in one of my very old videos. Right? And once told is once told. I will not repeat Rahu, Rahu and Ketu again and again. Right? The same principle have to be applied. This is a very small point that you should always remember, keep in mind. If you cannot keep in mind, then what can be done? Right? So this is not the approach. Once told, remember it always. So this is point number one. That planet, whichever is in the 12th house, the Whatever house that planet signifies, the result of that house is available in plenty. And if the planet who is going to the 12th house somehow becomes significator of good houses, such as sun, which becomes the significator of the ascendant, moon, which becomes the significator of the fourth house, Mercury, which becomes the significator of the 10th house, Venus, who becomes the significator of the seventh house, or Jupiter, who becomes the significator of the second, 11th, 5th, or 9th house, then it is very, very good. Planet who are significant of bad, significator of bad houses, Mars and Saturn, are 50% bad, 50% good. Some bad results also come. Good results are also there. So technically, for this reason, because good results are also there, bad results are also there, 12th house cannot be told as completely bad. At max, it can be told as neutral. This is what Parashar has said. Right. Now, one more thing we have to understand. Planet in ascendant is very powerful planet because this is a rising planet, right? Ascendant is the first house. It is the point in the eastern horizon, the time when you were being born. At that point of time, from your birthplace, whatever Rashi was in the eastern direction, that was the rising Rashi. And that rising Rashi is in the ascendant. If there is any planet in the ascendant, then it is a rising planet. And generally, rising planets are considered powerful. By the way, for planets, rising and setting is as per their distance from sun. When the planet comes out of combust combustion, it is called rising. And when the planet is going into combustion, it is called setting. However, in ascendant also, the planet can be taken as rising. And this rising is in this sense that the nature behavior character of the planet rises in the personality of the native. Now planet in second house is about to rise in the ascendant. The planet in the 12th house have already risen in the ascendant is already there in the ascendant. Now let cons let's take it with respect of life, real life. Now in real life, one experience is currently happening. That is ascendant. That experience molds your mind thinking to a great extent, you know. Your thinking behavior is according to that experience that is currently happening. 
now planet in second house is the planet going to rise in future this event is not in front of you so of course it is not influencing your nature personality right now it will happen in future and you will only have those experiences in future only but planet in the 12th house have already risen before it is like past experience now person always takes lesson from past experiences and the past experiences molds the current experiences greatly for a particular example you say if someone have got cheated in a relationship before then in all the future relationships the person will be very careful the person will be very cautious he will be afraid of opening up right in the same manner planet who is in the 12th house have already risen in the ascendant have already raised in the ascendant before this particular ascendant and because of this reason the nature behavior quality attribute of the planet in the 12th house is also present in the nature so sun in the 12th house person is very self confident person is very proud of himself very confident very proud of himself right egoistic also it can be said moon in the 12th house person is very emotional person is very caring mars in the 12th house person can be a bit aggressive and he is a work force is commander in chief the person wants to always take charge the person always wants that his wish should be honored what he says should be done people should follow him mercury in the 12th house the person is very jocular the person cracks joke and it along with that person also have good interest of fine arts drawing dancing singing poetry and all of these things not only this person also loves a lot of mathematics calculation planning the person love this are signified by mercury jupiter in the 12th house the nature behavior character of jupiter is strong in the personality so the person is religious is into mantra chanting visiting temples the person have good ethics and morals right the person is very much dedicated and devoted to his family members and person tries to keep whatever promises he make 100% if there is venus in the 12th house then venus is the significator for art literature this the person loves the person loves beauty the person loves details into everything person is very romantic right person is very much attached to the life partner person loves enjoyment if there is saturn in the 12th house then the person have a harsh nature is cruel with words right person is generally disinterested in multiple things only focus that is work and does not pay much attention to what else is happening right saturn is only focus that is work and is not much uh, concerned with what else is happening for example see saturn is a laborer a person comes to your home to paint the walls now he is only concerned with painting the walls whatever else is happening in home he should not be concerned with that right for this particular reason saturn is very focused a loaf lonely living alone not sharing things with others is the trait of saturn which is present in the nature of the person if there is saturn in the 12th house if rahu is there in the ascendant the person is cunning the person is intelligent person always finds his way throughout everything and person is very much dedicated and devoted to whatever he is doing person lives with a dream a dream that he wants to fulfill and is 100% attention is on the dream only like arjun's attention was on the eye of the fish and ketu in the 12th house makes the person a little bit of detached person takes decision after a lot of thinking ketu in the 12th house and person have a lot of intuition also person is into a lot of planning and calculation and person is very much dedicated devoted to their family members this is the nature behavior character of the person which is present in the personality if ketu is in the ascendant this is nature behavior traits of ketu which is present in the native in 50 60% quantity if there is ketu in the 12th house because planet in the 12th house have already risen in the ascendant what i just told you or this nature will be present when ketu is aspecting the ascendant now according to me there is no aspect for ketu so for other planets whatever trait i have told for sun will also be applicable if sun is aspecting the ascendant because the planet who is aspecting the ascendant also gives his nature trait character behavior to the person so the planet who is aspecting the ascendant should also be taken should also be seen with much respect 
Now there is one very, very peculiar thing with respect to the 12th house. This is a parampara knowledge. 12th Lord, you see, 12th Lord is generally not considered a good planet. Now see, 12th house is a neutral planet, 12th Lord is not. The normal principle goes, whichever planet goes to 12th house, the house lauded by the planet. Remember in the previous principle, house signified by the planet was the question. Now is the house lauded by the planet. So Venus is always significator of seventh house. The house lauded by Venus is different as per the ascendant, right? This differentiation you have to keep in mind. Whichever planet goes to the 12th house, the house lauded by that planet with respect to that house, there will be losses. Bad result is there with respect to that house. So you say when Venus goes to 12th house, Venus being the significator of seventh house, marriage is very good. But when seventh Lord goes to 12th house, seventh Lord being the Lord of the seventh house, there are problems in marriage. There are losses in marriage. The result of that house is bad because any house Lord who goes to the 12th house, that house gives bad result. This is the subtle difference that you have to keep in mind. If Venus is seventh Lord also, Scorpio ascendant or Aries ascendant, then the marital life is mediocre, mixed. Mixed means there is a lot of enjoyment from life partner, but that enjoyment cannot sustain for long. Cannot sustain for long on account of divorce or separation or ill health. Right? So judiciously, the answer should be told, you are doing astrology, you are wishing to do astrology. Astrology is an intellectual science. Keep your mind open. Right? But with respect to 12th Lord, this thing is also there. Whichever house 12th Lord goes into, that house also suffers loss. That house is also afflicted. So you say if the 12th Lord goes into the 5th house, then 5th house will become afflicted. In that particular scenario, the person may not be able to complete his education. The person may suffer on the accounts of his ideas. He will want to present his ideas where he will be misunderstood. People will not support his ideas. He will have backlash from people, he will have criticism from people, all these things you can predict because 12th Lord is going into 5th house, bad result will happen. In the same manner for, with respect to other houses also, it should be understood, right? Planet result in house, planet result in Rashi is very common, very basic. Right? It can be easily made just using a little bit of common sense and basics of astrology. So no, I'm not going into that. But specifically with respect to 12th Lord in Ascendant or Ascendant Lord in 12th, this is a very peculiar combination is what I have seen. What the Parampara tells you? 12th Lord in the Ascendant or Ascendant Lord in the 12th house, you have to see the condition, whether the condition is good or condition is bad. In one horoscope, there is 12th Lord in the Ascendant. This 12th Lord is Jupiter, you say. Jupiter goes into Ascendant, Jupiter becomes Digbali. This is a very good combination. In another case, it is a Virgo Ascendant, Lagna Lord, Ascendant Lord is in Ascendant itself. Twelfth Lord, uh, Leo, Twelfth Lord's son goes to the Ascendant. It makes the Mercury combust. This is a very bad combination. Because Twelfth Lord is combusting the Lagna Lord. Basic point is when 12th Lord is connected to Ascendant or Ascendant Lord is connected to 12th house, if the combination is positive, the person is Kul Uddharak. What we call in Hindi, Kul Ka Chira. Kul Uddharak basically means because of his works, the person will be a savior to the complete clan. This means maybe in a middle class or poor family, this person is born who will earn great money and will save the complete family, complete lineage from suffering. He will not only be rich himself, but he will also open the ways for riches to his mother, father, sibling, cousins and everyone to extended family. In such scenarios, you say the person, in, the person starts doing business and employs many of his family members. Generally, Kuludharak means that the person will be a great devotee of Lord. In that particular scenario, what happens? You say everyone in the family is doing bad karma, but one person is the great devotee of God. You say he is doing a Kadashi. 
then in that particular scenario no matter how many bad karmas other family member is doing just because of the merit of this person who is doing ekadashi everyone will be relieved of their sins such great personality is born when the 12th lord is connected to ascendant or ascendant lord is connected to 12th and it is a good connection in the other hand what i have found in experience when the 12th lord is connected to ascendant or ascendant lord is connected to 12th and it is a bad combination the person is self destructive self detrimental what i call apne pair pe kulhadi marne wala aadmi this person will take such decisions this person will do those things which will be detrimental for himself such people are generally very much blind in life they will know that their friend circle is causing a lot of issue in their personal life they will they will understand that their friend circle is only wasting time they will realize that their friends are of no use they will never come to their help but even after realizing all of these things the person cannot stop going with friends he always remains in company of friends basically meaning despite knowing that this work is not good for me this work is bad this thing is mad the person does not stop doing that he is self detrimental the person is self destructive so the combination have to be seen very 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 strongly sorry very 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 carefully in the other hand with respect to money houses also money houses second house 11th house one have to very carefully check the 12th house according to me 12th house is the house of not only expenditure but investment also that 12th house is the house of expenditure that is a basic point you all know but 12th house is the house of investment also basically every person should do investment every person can do investment you have to see which planet is positively connected to 12th house whichever planet is positively connected to 12th house or 12th lord if 12th lord is good good means exalted varkottam mool trikon on rashi then investing in the area investing in the things signified by the 12th lord or positive planet in the 12th house is very good you say if there is mars connected to 12th house then in that particular scenario investment with respect to property is very good so on and so forth right for example in the horoscope of donald trump 12th house lord is situated in 4th house that is a debilitated moon but moon becomes 4th house digbali also because of this particular reason he had good earning from investment in property right so according to me 12th house is investment also and you should carefully see the 12th lord and planet positively connected in the 12th house investments made in that particular area is good one point planets who are negatively connected with the 12th house there is a lot of losses because of that particular signification for example you say 6th lord is negatively connected to 12th house or 12th lord goes into 6th house now 12th lord goes into 6th house you will expect the 12th house back house lord expecting the house will make the house powerful 12th house becoming powerful will indicate that the person is having a lot of expenditure that is there okay 12th lord is coming into 6th house or 6th lord is negatively connected to 12th house or negatively connected to 12th lord in that in that scenario what is happening lot of expenditure is happening because of enmity lot of expenditure is happening because of litigation in such scenario person should be very careful of not to go into enmity or not to fall into litigation because if the person does he will only lose money without any significant gains such people are generally entangled in court cases enmity etc where they have to spend a lot of money also and no good result is there even winning in the court case etc even winning in the enmity etc is also very difficult so there is no happiness there is no substantial gain also this is another point what i have seen if the second house lord 11th house lord money house lords are positively connected in the 12th house say they are varguttam exalted or 12th house lord is positively connected to second house or 11th house then in that scenario person is into investment the prime source of income for the person is investment only in this particular scenario this this is not like donald trump right donald trump is you say 
Donald Trump example, I will take it as taking proper, taking a land, making a building there, selling it. That's another one. In this case, 12th Lord is positively connected to 2nd house, 11th house, 2nd house, 11th house Lord is positively connected to the 12th house. In this particular scenario, what happens? The person is purely earning on investment only. So stock market, fixed deposits, person is put, putting things into this and his complete source of income is this only. So he's not actually making anything or doing anything as such, just investing money Waiting for return is the prime. So this is like person have purchased a piece of land, waited for the price to hike up, then he have sold the piece of land. So he purchased the land, he sold the land, did no development. It was just a pure investment is what I have seen. This gives good income. So if there is this combination in your horoscope, don't be sad. This is a very good combination. Basically, you just have to be very careful. You just have to think what is the perfect way of your income, right? What income way suits you? This is the basic of astrology. There is nothing bad or good in astrology. You just have to understand which way it can give us benefit. See, take it like real life now. You are going on a road. You have to travel a path. There will be different situations and your thinking should be how I can use it for my benefit. That's the only approach that you should have. Right. Every person can do investment and in which area you should invest should be chosen with respect to planet positively connected to the 12th house. Basic signification of the planets you already know about. If you don't know, I have many videos on it that right. you go and watch. One more thing what I have seen, Deko, 12th house also indicates what type of person you are. One is a good person, one is a bad person, what type of person you are. In this world, nowadays world is completely working on wealth. Right. So where one is spending money also indicates what one is very much interested in doing, what one does generally often. For an example, you say if one is spending money into worship, religion, giving a lot of donation to temple, religious institutions, the person will be called dharmic. Now, if the ninth lord is connected to the 12th house, if Jupiter is connected to 12th house, then the person is spending a lot of money, giving a lot of money to temple, priest and religious activities. So it makes the person religious. In the same manner, what type of person it is, 12th house indicates that. Sun is going into 12th house. Then the person is spending a lot of money into giving a lot of money to father, giving a lot of money to government. And sun is significant. Sun, if sun is lord of whichever house is giving a lot of money to that household. Now sun in 12th house, the person is giving a lot of money to father. So this is a very good child. Sun in the 12th house, person is giving a lot of money to government. So this person will be very rich also. So he's giving a lot of tax, right? You say 12th Lord is going, 7th Lord is going into 12th house. Then the person is spending a lot of money on wife. So basically his life partner either should enjoy a lot or it indicates that the person is suffering a divorce. And in that divorce, he have to either give a huge alimony or the divorce case is pending where he have to spend a lot of money in that particular case where the divorce case will be pending. And the person will have to spend a lot of money. Sixth Lord will also be connected to the 12th house. So as per the nature of planet, what as per the nature of planet connected to the 12th house, the house is that the planet connected to the 12th house is ruling. You can easily know in which areas person is spending money. And based on that, what type of person it is can be very easily found out. It goes to such an extent that Rishis go on to say that if there is benefic planet connected to 12th house, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, then the person does good karma in life. Why good karma? Because he is spending in things related to these planets and these planets are benefic planets because they indicate good things. Mercury is in the 12th house, person is spending money in education. 
Jupiter in the 12th house person is spending money in religion. Venus in 12th house person is spending money in enjoyment, wife, karma. Moon in the 12th house person is spending money for happiness of mind, entertainment, and music, dancing, singing, foreign travels, etc. So this person is doing good karma. On the other hand, when there are malefics in the 12th house, then the person is spending things into bad things. Mar Mars in the 12th house, person is spending money into litigation fight. So this is a bad karma that he is doing litigation fight and all of that. So based on the what type of planet is there in the 12th house, one should also understand what type of karma one is doing. And in this same line, Exalted planet, planet in Onarashi, planet who is Vargottam, planet who is situated in Mula Trikon are powerful planet. Every person spends money, you know that. But when a powerful planet is connected to the 12th house, this person is spending powerful money. That means he is making huge expenses. Now, because I have just told you how 12th house indicates karma also, a person having a prominent planet in 12th house, exalted Vargottam, etc., that planet will, that person will also do very prominent karma. Those prominent money he is spending, prominent karma he is doing. See, everyone gives a little bit of donation to temple. Okay. But the one who is having exalted Vargottam, Swarashi, Mulutrikon, Jupiter in the 12th house is giving huge money to temple. That basically means either he is renovating a temple or making a new temple. So it is even a greater and bigger good karma. In the same manner, right, right, right. In the same manner, if there is a powerful malefic situated in the 12th house, then one is spending huge money in malefic work, huge money in bad work. This is partially true. Only in the case of retrograde, the planet is powerful, but not benefic, but not good, powerful, but bad. So there is retrograde malefic in 12th house then person is spending huge money in bad things that indicate huge bad karma. In other cases where malefic in the 12th house is Sorashi, Mulutrikon, Vargottam, etc., then the planet is not only powerful, but is good also. In this particular scenario where malefic in the 12th house is exalted Vargottam, Mulutrikon, then in this scenario, person is spending a lot of money, that is for sure because the planet is powerful. But now because it is benefic also, it is giving good result also because of that this expenditure is not in bad karma but in good karma only. Right? In fact, I always say this particular thing, 12th house indicates expenditure of money and what if you want therefore what is happening? Jupiter is there in 12th house. Jupiter will tell you spend money for me, for my significations. Now, either you can spend money for temple. Now, whether you can spend money for temple religious activities, that is okay. Or you have to spend money in other Jupiter related things. Then you have to spend money for children. Then you have to spend money for the houses ruled by Jupiter. Children, let's take, let's not include houses into it, only giving example based on signification. Now, spending money for the education of children, etc., everyone does. But with Jupiter in the 12th house, extra money for children one will have to give. That means the, the child may have an unstable professional life, so you have to financially support him. Or the child may do those things in which you will have to give him a lot of money. You say, child commits a crime, goes to a jail, then you have to give fine. Or child becomes diseased, you will have to spend money on his, you know, on his medical expenses also. To Jupiter in the 12th house, the point is very clear. Either you yourself by your choice start spending money on religious activities or you will be forced to spend money on children. Spending money on religious activities is something that you can very easily and quickly do. Right? So this is a lesson from the 12th house that you have to take. And once you have taken this seriously, then many sufferings of the life can be avoided. As I told you before, astrology indicates a path and there are multiple situations in the path, multiple conditions in the path, which is signified by the planetary positions. 
now as your approach should be to use that conditions for your benefit to use those conditions for your betterment that's the basic point right other than that <clears throat> some people believe that 12000 indicates sleeping pleasure also the pleasures of bed first of all my friend bed is from the fourth house so the sleeping of the happiness of bed bed pleasure should also come from the fourth house this is the particular reason it is told that if there is mercury or moon in the fourth house then the first copulation between the husband and wife the first sexual encounter between the husband and wife is under an open sky right so it is not from the 12th house point if someone says that it is the sexual pleasure of marriage then in that particular scenario bed and marriage is not the same thing right the sexual pleasure that comes from marriage also comes from the 7th house so bed pleasure is 12th house is a very wrong concept this is not true this should not be taken right that's all about the 12th house i have told you about the 12th house in a nutshell and tried to convey many points which i think should be very very clear